Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. Problem Solved by Jan Thomas. Problem Solved. Uh-oh, this is a problem. Problem? Did I hear someone in there has a problem? Well, here I am, Porcupine Pete, your problem-solving porcupine. Wait, I have a problem-solving porcupine? You sure do. So what's your problem, rabbit? Well, my room is so messy, I can't even go hippity-hoppity, see? Can't go hippity-hoppity? I can solve that problem. First, I'll get all your shirts and fold them very carefully. Oh, that sounds good. Then I'll feed them to the goldfish. Wait, what? Problem solved. But my shirts go here. Next, I'll get all your blocks and stack them very high. Then I'll flush them down the toilet. Stop! You can't flush blocks down the toilet, Porcupine Pete. Oh, you are right. What was I thinking? I really don't know. I'll flush this truck down instead. No! Problem solved. But my toys go here, and I'm just getting started. I'll put this teddy under the rug. My teddy goes here. These stinky socks in the bed. My socks are not stinky. This picture in the tub, the picture goes here. And this trash can on my head. Okay, I give up. Now, I'll take this newspaper. Newspaper, wait, wait. Look, there are problems on Mars. Oh, the scientists need a problem solver on Mars. They need you. But if I go to Mars, who will solve your problem, Rabbit? Well, it's not really a problem anymore, is it? Okay then, Rabbit. I'm off to Mars. Great. See ya, Pete. Problem solved. I'll throw these thingamajigs in the trash can. Doesn't the rover need wheels? The end. Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.